The environment under which you do business is quite critical for the survival of your operations. Today, we shine a torch on the environment, the macroeconomic environment under which business is done in Uganda today. The low uptake of technology in the agriculture sector has ampered appetite of learning institutions towards agriculture. Information communication experts assert that the presumed high risk towards the sector is mainly related to the limited information about agriculture, a gap a number of IT tools can address. The role that we get to play then is how do we enable the institutions in the room to de-risk these individuals. We start generating sectors, we start having tangible real-time data on where are we on cereals, where are we on dairy, where are we on you know, the specific sectors, and government can now make better initiatives in terms of how do we, which sectors do we then support first, how do we uh, leave uh, the banks here will say, how do we leverage what government is already doing because they create the ecosystem for the private institutions that are here to, to be able to operate. Seeing the gap, they say, has to be prioritized given the importance of agriculture to the many African economies like Uganda, where it employs over 70% of the population. At our economies in sub-Saharan Africa again, where does agriculture feature? Normally, it will be one of the top three items on our, uh, on our exchange, what we do in trade uh, with other countries. So we have to claim this. But we cannot claim this without supporting that industry actively. We are looking at a portfolio of uh, farmers or a portfolio of uh, you know, uh, the smallholder, the medium, and the large-scale uh, large farmers we have to ensure that the smallholder farmers are engaged. Experts are calling for more collaboration between IT application developers, commercial banks, and agriculture sector players. This collaboration, they say, is still made hard by the limited support from financial institutions, especially banks, yet these are important to building homegrown solutions to sectors like agriculture. Banks have been doing asset financing for quite some time. But what they were doing is tangible assets, you know, motor vehicle, equipment, machinery, those kind of things. Yet software is actually an asset. But it was difficult for them to assess, and it remains a difficult assessment of, of value for any software. Even with such challenges, experts believe that this engagement is still possible, drawing from the experience of the financial digital revolution impact on the unbanked masses across the world, and more so Uganda and Africa. You need to ask yourself, why do we have more? clients on mobile money, these mobile transactions, as opposed to the, the, the same clients who are actually, you see this is a client who is your client in the bank, but he's more active on mobile money. But when you come and intro, introduce your intervention, the client may not, be, may not buy into that. There are many things, even within the institution, culture change, buying. 